This is the toughest battle we face. There's no margin for error. Over 24 hours, we must push the limits. Both man and machine. Overcoming the chaos, the darkness, the fatigue. This is a true test of endurance. Been an eventful race so far. We had a decent start. We are P6 after the first lap. We just had a puncture coming in three corners before the pit, so we were really lucky there. Now we are fighting P1, P2. Very tough start for us. We started P66, which is really not ideal. We have been fighting hard. We're up in the top 10 now. From P66 to top 10, I have to say it's pretty cool. I moved up a little bit in the order, close to the top 10. Now currently it's been sitting P5. Not been a smooth run so far, but everything is still under control and the car is in one piece. Yeah, we're at the stage now where we're getting into the dark. That's when all the unpredicted things come. We have to stay cool. I mean, night driving at Spa, I think, is one of the craziest things. Every year after feeling is getting worse and it's getting more crazy and more risky. It's really intense inside the car, but this is why we do it and this is also why we love it. The final big push will be from 10 o'clock in the morning to the end. This is when the race is going to be really crucial and where we take the maximum risk. It's been a quite tough night for us. We lost GPX, they had the uh, drivetrain problems. We lost more and more cars due to small hits. We're pushing, we're trying to get the best out of it at the moment. 47 KCMG team, we've managed to come from dead last to first, so for us it's going pretty well. Out front we seem to be really good, fingers crossed the hard work is over and we can just finish the race off. Made it through to nine, running quite a good position considering, but unfortunately I was uh, hit from behind quite hard and we had to come in boxed and now quite down the order. It's going to be interesting, we're getting close to the final pit stop. Unfortunately, we lost a bit of ground. We're doing everything we can now. These 24-hour races especially, it's, uh, they're emotional. To be standing here disappointed with a top 10 result, a race like this, shows our ambition. We're happy with our performance. Next time, we just got to squeeze a little bit more pace out of it.